see as a lead in this match, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was there. I think that the TJ Cloutier, Daniel Negreanu match, I'm sure is going to be a featured match. That is going to be a lot of fun to watch. The other guy who I think is playing great poker right now is Huck Seed. And the world doesn't know about Huck Seed. He sometimes forgets how great he is at poker. But, I mean, he's, he was my toughest match last year. Finally, Phil, your prediction for 2007. 2007, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be on top of my game and come here and do something. I mean, I told myself anything but the first round. Come on, not the first round, man. Phil, are you certain you're gonna be invited back here for 2007? <laughs> well, I was up for, I was up for best, uh, best no limit hold'em player in the world against two others this year, and I was up for best heads up player in the world against two others. I didn't win either one, but I mean. That means that someone out there, the poker players, think I'm the top three in the world at Hold'em and the top three in the world at Heads Up Play. So I imagine I'll be back for the next 20 years. So that's a yes. That's an emphatic <laughs> yes, baby. <laughs> Thanks. We look forward to seeing you, Phil. All right, Catherine. Wasn't he also up for the Humility Award? He is just such a modest man. And congeniality, Mr. Congeniality. Blinds to 8 and 1,600 now. Queen Jack offsuit for Huck Seed. And he calls the 800. Fishman with 10 tray off suit, and he checks. Flop is 9 king jack. Huck has flopped a pair of jacks. He would make a straight with a 10. But queen came, it would make Huck two pair, but Scott would make a straight. Right now, Scott has nothing, and he checks. Huck bets 2,500. Looks like Scott's going to call here with basically no hand. Fishman raises to 6,500. Wow. So Seed calls. Not going to push Huck around. And the turns of five of clubs. And Scott checks and aborts his mission. And Huck checks also. Rivers at three of spades. Now Scott's contemplating betting here. And it would be a great bet because it would be like he checked on 4th Street to try and induce a bed from Huck. And Huck, that's what Huck thinks. Huck threw his hand away immediately. Great bet from Scott. Great play. This is going to be a fascinating match. More from Vegas right after this. Go all in at the new online store at NBCHeadsUp.com for the hottest line of poker merchandise, from men's and women's outerwear to Heads Up branded chips, cards, and tabletops that will enhance any poker night. And welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Back to round 16 of play and our first look at Amir Vahidi taking on Barry Greenstein facing off in the spades bracket. Everybody's curious as to who's going to win this match. They're also curious as to who has more hair on their backs. <laughs> Greenstein was suited. Jack Deuce raised to 2,400. Vahidi on 5-4 calls. I'm betting on Barry. What do you think? <laughs> I'm going to defer to you on that. Flop is ace-nine Jack. Barry's flopped a pair of Jacks. Amir has nothing. Barry bets. And Amir raises to 8,000. Amir came to play. Barry has second pair here. There's an ace out there, and he calls. We have seen a lot of aggressive play so far in this round of 16, and the turn is a three of diamonds. Gives Vahidi something, an inside straight drop. Yes, but along with Barry's pair of jacks now, he has a flush draw. Vahidi checked. And Barry's not slowing down. He bets 10,000. And Amir might be contemplating. He check raised Barry once. Is he thinking about doing it again? I don't think it'll work if he does it. Well, Vahidi took a shot before the turn, but not this time. He folds his hand. Barry Greenstein takes down the pot. Well, clearly in single elimination, every hand is important, but Amir Vahidi's experience has given him a unique perspective on playing cards. 
what I've gone through in my life, uh, this is not as scary to me. <laughs> this is fun, okay, you get in there, you want to make some money, but uh, no, I've gone through much worse and much more serious situations. Uh, I'm, I'm from Iran. Uh, uh, when I turned uh, 17 and a half, I guess, I went to college, and uh, then the revolution took place, as you know. I went to army for 19 months uh, in the Iran-Iraq war. Uh, so I went through that 19 months that made a much better person out of me. So I came down to America. That was uh, after two and a half years on the road, going to Pakistan jail, going to East Berlin jail. But anyway, not making it too political. Uh, too political. It's just one of the beauty of this country. And regardless what it is, regardless how tough it is, you gotta work hard. This is not a country for sitting down, sitting back, and be lazy. And uh, basically, the result of my life here is uh, raising three kids. Uh, two of them are in college. One of them is going to college this year. And I'm so proud of them. Uh, there you go. I mean, it's every time I feel bad, I look at it. Uh, I look at them. It makes me feel good and keep me going. That's what it is. And it is back to work for Amir Vahidi in this match, and he's got his work cut out for him as Barry Greenstein has nearly a three to two chip advantage over him here in this round of 16 match. And Barry Greenstein is very tough to play against when he has a lead. Not to mention Greenstein is a returnee to the round of 16. Ace Jack for Vahidi here, and he calls. He's slow playing his ace Jack, and look at this. Barry's got ace queen of clubs. Amir could get in trouble in this hand. He was hoping Barry would raise. It looks like he's going to raise Barry back. Vahidi raises it up to 7,500 here. Now remember, Barry's got the lead in this match. And he's got a real quality hand. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes all in here. All in. All in indeed. Okay. And Amir was not expecting this. I wanted to get a little bit more TV exposure out of this, but you pushed me into this. So. <laughs> I ain't going to sit down and take it from you. <laughs> Amir called instantly. He did not think Barry had that strong of a hand. He was putting Barry on a small pair, like eight, sevens. There are three jacks out there. Somewhere in that neighborhood. He realizes he's in very bad shape. What do they say? I'd much rather give bad beat than I'd receive the bad beat. <laughs> it's a much better position to be in. Very aware of his own fate here, too. Hey. He's going to need a jack. Flop comes King Trey King. Uh, a lot of splits available. Well, on this street, the only split would be a three. That would be a split. Amir could take the lead with a jack. Turns a six of spades, and now there are more splits. Right, Amir can split now with a three or a six, and he could still win this hand with a jack. Anything else, and Amir Vahidi is eliminated. Three of hearts and a split for Amir Vahidi. Wow. It could be worse. Yeah, it could have been worse. He should have been packing up to go home, and Barry Greenstein knows it. Nice catch. Finally, it's the other way around. I'm getting lucky. Amir Vahidi ain't going anywhere. He's celebrating like they're allowing cigar smoke back in poker rooms. Welcome back. For those of you out there who may feel like you need a translator to understand poker lingo, in this edition of Heads Up, our poker dictionary. Hey, heads up. I had an open and a straight, flush draw and a pair. For those out there that don't get what that means, that's like the World's Fair. I was ready to call them all the way down. A lot of people call Chip Reese the, the best side action player in the world. I moved it in and shut him down. Once you get short, you pick up an ace or pick up uh, any pair. Heads up! One time I was short stacked with syrup on the side. I knocked over my half cap with an open-ended mocha. 
Everybody left the table. I went all in. Amir Vahidi is the short stack here, down to 58,000 in chips to Greenstein's 102,000 as he lost a couple of hands while we were away. King Queen for Vahidi here. He raises to 4,900. And suited King 10 for Greenstein. Buyer's going to call here. One more. Meanwhile, it looks like there's a healthy pot going between Amir Vahidi and Barry Greenstein. And the flop comes 10 5 Queen. Amir has flopped top pair, a pair of Queens. Barry has a pair of Tens. Barry checks. Something big could happen in this hand. Queen five, seven, Vahidi bets 7,000. Barry bet Barry's got the pair of tens. He's also got a backdoor flush possibility. He just called. 